Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Ting Ting. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please remember to on your notification bell. Now let's start with our topic for today, four deadly mistakes to avoid when it comes to trading. So if you can avoid this kind of trade, uh, 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 this kind of mistake, the chances for you to survive through your trading is relatively high. Now let's start with what are the four deadly mistakes that you should avoid when it comes to trading. First one, many of us we rely on tips and rumors. Uh, for example, you go to blog, you go to forum, or you go to WhatsApp. Uh, the problem with the blogs, forum, or WhatsApp, assuming uh, their tips is accurate. But the problem is, when you go with the tips, can you go for long-term return or not? When it comes to trading, we have four very key uh, words. I repeat, uh, when it comes to trading, we have four very important keywords. First one is stable, second one is long term, third one is profitable, fourth one is consistency. I repeat the four keywords are first one is stable, second one is consistency, third one is profitability, and the final one is long term. Are you able to go for long term return, stable return? consistent returns. When you rely on tips, it's impossible that you can generate consistent return. You know why? Because you are unable to duplicate. For example, if I'm setting up my own training system, my training strategies, my training plan, I will able to duplicate my success trades. But if I rely on tips, are you able to duplicate or not? No. Second thing, when you go for tips and rumors, uh, you know, uh, sometimes when it reach you, the tips reach you already too late. So by the time that you enter the market, it might be the end of whatever they call for. So relying on tips and rumors is very dangerous, especially when it comes to futures trading. You know what? When it comes to stocks, it's not that difficult. You know why? 900 over stocks. If you buy one stocks, whatever forum or blocks, they might not be buying, they might not be calling. But when it comes to futures, technically we only have two counters or two products. One is FKI, one is FCBO. Now every day you only have four options. One is buy FKI, one is sell FKI, the third one is buy FCBO, the fourth one is sell FCBO. Now what is the problem? For example, if you're joining blocks of forums on WhatsApp, let's say for example, you start to buy today. You went and bought one FKI. And subsequently, when you enter the forum blocks or WhatsApp, you notice that someone is selling FKI. Then you start to panic because it's not easy for people to have different opinion with us. That's why you are very worried. Definitely, you will be worried. Now, when you are buying and other people are selling, does it mean that both of us we cannot make money or one party will be making, the other party will be losing money? Don't forget one thing, when it comes to futures trading, it can be the same times I'm buying FKI, you are selling FKI. But at the end of the day, when you close the trade and when I close the trade, both of us, we are making money. I repeat my statement now. There's a chance or possibility that you are buying FKI at the same times at my, I'm selling FKI, you're buying FKI, I'm selling FKI. But both of us, when we close our position, both of us, we are making money. You know why? Because your holding period might be different from me. You might be holding for one day and you are making money. I might be holding for one week. I might be making money as well because of the holding period. But the price when you go for foreign blocks or WhatsApp, if you see other people, they are buying, you're selling. First, the first level is very difficult for you to absorb because you'll notice that, hey, I might be wrong because people are buying. How come that I'm selling? If you do not have your own strategies, your training plan, you'll be influenced by that. So try to avoid tips and rumors, especially when it comes to futures trading because your limited products and limited action that you can do. Technically, for only buy, sell, FKI, buy, sell, FCBO. Now, the next problem that you are having will be expert opinion. I did not say that expert opinion is not good. The, but the problem is when you adopt uh, expert opinion, do you know what is the reason behind? Now, many of you, when you start to adopt the expert opinion, you directly adopt. For example, the call for stocks to buy. But the problem is you do not know when to sell. 
and you do not know what is the reason behind. So we encourage you to set up your own strategies, your own trading plan. Then you adopt their input and put into your trading system or trading plan, generate your own results, whether to buy or sell. Because different. Because when it comes to expert opinion, they based on expert that time. So another problem is what? They forecast, for example, our market outlook. I forecast for one year down the road or half a year down the road. But do you know that when you forecast the things, it involves a lot of variables. So it can be, for example, I want to forecast my FBM KLCI, it can be involving your GDP, your PE, etc. But you know that these variables will change according to the time because sudden issue, sudden input. When you change side changes in your variables, the results can be very different. So when you adopt market outlook, be careful what you are doing. And when you adopt market outlook, try to understand the reason behind why they are calling for a buy or a sell, take the input and put into your training strategies and training plan, generate your own outlook. That would be the correct. Because by the time that market change, uh, they are not able to issue the forecast immediately. So it may impact your decision in buying or selling. Now, the third deadly mistake is you are catching the falling night. This is a very common mistake that happen among all the traders. Because why? You try to guess when is the lowest level. And if you manage to buy at the lowest level, you'll be very happy. You try to tell all your friends, you see, I managed to buy the lowest level or I managed to sell the highest level. You see, I'm the god. So this is not the correct way. Because if you do not catch it properly, you might be catching halfway through. What if the market going even lower? How many times can you average down as a retail? So sometimes when you are catching a falling knife, it is very dangerous because you do not know when is the lowest level. Now, for example, if a stock is $8, you tell me that it's very cheap already. What if it falls to $6? Is it cheaper? If it falls to $4, how do you define it? Cheapest? $2 sales and promotion. That's why it's very difficult for you to define what is high and what is low. So try to avoid to define what is high or what is low. Now I give you some example about catching the falling knife. Uh, look at this. This is actual scenarios happened in Malaysia. Now this is way back in 2008 when our CPO at the highest level of 4,005. Right now our CPO is about 2,000 plus only. That's about half of what previous the highest level in 2008, 4,500. Now, when the market dropped to 2,250, that is 50% now. Many of you will tell, uh, it is very cheap already. Some of you, you might be start to uh, try to buy at 30%, 20%, or even 10%. Because it's impossible, the market will drop so much. So when it comes to 50%, people tend to go and buy. If you go and buy during that time, the market went all the way to the lowest level of 1,325. There's another 50% from 2,250. How many points can you take? It's very difficult. You see or not? If you're buy, you buying along the way, right? You're going to suffer. 4,005 to 1,003, that is 3,200 uh, points, uh, 3, points differences. Oh. If you go in time, then you will know the differences. So be careful. If you try to catch a falling knife, it's very dangerous. I let you see another example, an actual scenario in Malaysia. Before the downtrend happens in 2008, which burned a lot of uh, many of the investor capital. Look at the uptrend. Now we start with 1005. During the time, most of the time you can see the market hovering for FCBO is about 1005. Mm -hmm. Then the market start to make a move and it went to 3000. 100% increase. Oh. Many of you would think, hey, impossible. How come the market can go so high? Historically, never break so high. Then, subsequently, if you think that you can start to sell the problem, you see, uh, it went all the way to 4,500, another 1,500. So, this is the problem. If you think that 1,500 to 3,000, or 100% impossible that it will go higher, but it went Another 1,500, from 1,500 to 4,500, the market already surged 3,000 points. 
If you take 3,000 points times 25, that is 75,000. No? So either you are making 75,000 or you are losing 75,000. So are you going to catch a falling knife? Are you going to guess which is the highest level, which is the lowest level? Never guess. Never, never try to attempt to go and guess which is the highest level and where is the lowest level. Don't try to do that. Now, final mistakes, deadly mistakes that many of the traders will experience is no trading plan, no trading strategies. What does this mean? I'll give you an example. When it comes to trading strategies, uh, one of the elements is you need to have your trading rules. Now, when you have your trading rules, you solve all, uh, not all, uh, at least more than half of your trading psychology issue. You know why? I'll give you an example. For example, in Malaysia, if you have a traffic rules, when you reach a traffic light, if it is a red light, you will know that you need to stop. Automatically, if you will see there's a green light, automatically you will know you need to go because you have your trading uh, traffic rules. Now, these rules will let, lead you to make a decision. But if you do not have your trading plan and trading strategies in place, you will have a lot of self-interpretation, a lot of self-interpretation that will affect your emotion. No, for example, I, I, you just imagine now, uh, if Malaysia we do not have traffic rules, when reaching a traffic light, if you see red lights, you need to think, whether should I go, whether should I stop, I need to see what. It's very difficult for you to make a decision or personal judgment. When it involves personal judgment or personal interpretation, the chances is a lot of personal emotion will set in very difficult for you to success in your trading. So when it comes to trading, you need to have your own trading plan, trading system, and trading strategies. So these are all the four deadly mistakes that you need to avoid. If you can fulfill all the four deadly mistakes, the chances for you to survive in the trading, in your trading, is relatively high. So our class uh, will end at these uh, slides. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next session. And please remember to on your notification bell. Bye-bye.